the primary objectives of business math is to describe business situations and solve business problems. Many business problems requiring a mathematical solution have been converted to formulas. In this important presentation, you'll learn to solve equations. At first, some of the concepts may seem a bit strange. Equation, equations use letters of the alphabet as well as numbers. Don't be intimidated. After some practice, you'll be able to write and solve equations comfortably. A formula is a mathematical statement describing a real-world situation in which letters represent quantities. A typical example of a formula is as follows. In a business situation, revenues less is expenses is profit. A mathematical formula representing this is revenue minus expenses equals profit, or E minus R equals P, as you see here. By knowing the mathematical value of any of the two of the three parts, we can use a formula to determine the unknown part. Formulas are a way of standardizing repetitive business situations. They're used in almost every aspect of business activity and are an essential tool to any business individual. As valuable and widespread as formulas are, they cannot anticipate all business situations. Today's business professional must have the ability to analyze the facts of a situation and devise custom-made formulas to solve business problems. These formulas are actually mathematical equations. In English, we write by using words to form complete thoughts known as sentences. Equations convert written statements describing business situations into mathematical sentences. When the statement contains an equals sign, it's an equation. If it does not t contain an equal sign, it's simply an expression. Equations express business problems in their simplest form. There are no adjectives or words of embellishment, just the facts. So here's an example. S plus 12 is an expression. There's no equal sign. But S plus 12 equals 20, as you see here, is an equation. An equation is a mathematical statement using numbers, letters, and symbols to express a relationship of equality. Equations ha have an expression on the left side and have an expression on the right side connected by an equal sign. Variables or unknowns, the parts of an equation that are not given. In equations, the unknowns or variables are represented by letters of the alphabet. In our example here, S is the variable or the unknown. Constants or knowns are the parts of the equation that are given. In equation, the knowns are constants, numbers, which have quantities having a fixed value. In our example, the 12 and the 20 are constants or knowns. Variables, unknowns, and constants, knowns, are also known as the terms of the equation. The plus sign and the equal sign separate the terms and describe the relationship between them. To solve an equation means to find the numerical value of the unknown that makes the equation true. From our equation s plus 12 equals 20, what is the value of s? Is it 6? No, 6 plus 12 is 18 and 18 doesn't equal 20. Is it 10? No. 10 plus 12 is 22, and 22 doesn't equal 20. How about 8? Yes, 8 plus 12 does equal 20. By subtracting 8 from the variable s, we have found the value of the unknown that satisfies the equation and makes it true. 20 equals 20. The numerical value of the variable makes the equation true. In this case, 8 is the known solution or root of the equation. The number 5 in the term 5y is known as the coefficient of the term. In cases in which there is no numerical coefficient written, such as w, the coefficient is understood to be a 1. Therefore, 1w would equal w. It is important to remember that an equation is a statement of equality. To solve an equation, we must move or transpose all the unknowns to one side and all the knowns to the other side. We accomplish this by performing the same operation on both sides of the equation. By doing the same thing on both sides of the equation, we create a new equation that has the same solution as the original. It's customary for the unknowns to be on the left side and the knowns to be on the right, such as x equals 7. 
Expressions and equations are created from written statements by identifying the unknowns and the knowns and then determining the mathematical relationship between them. The variables are assigned letters of the alphabet. The letter X is commonly used to represent the unknown. The relationship between the knowns and the unknowns involves addition, subtraction, multiplication or division, or a combination of two or more of these. In business, most of the math encountered is in the form of business situation world problems. Variables such as profit, production units, inventory employees, money, customers, and interest rates are constantly interacting mathematically. Your boss will not simply ask you to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, but will ask you for information requiring you to perform these functions in a business context. Business students must be able to analyze a business problem requiring math, set up the situation in a mathematical expression or equation, and work it out to a correct solution. In our previous discussion, we learned to create and solve equations from written statements. Let's see how to apply these skills in business situations. You will learn a logical procedure here for setting up and solving business-related world problems. Some problems have more than one way to arrive at the answer. The key, once again, is not to be intimidated. Learning to solve business world problems requires practice, and the more you do, the easier it will become and the more comfortable you'll feel. Let's take a look at five steps for writing and solving business problems. Step one, understand the situation. If the problem is written, read it carefully, perhaps a few times. If the problem is verbal, write down the facts of the situation. Step two, take inventory. Identify all parts of the situation. These parts can be any variables, such as dollars, people, boxes, tons, trucks, anything. Separate them into known and unknowns. Step three, make a plan, create an equation. The object is to solve for the unknowns. Ask yourself what math relationship exists between the knowns and the unknowns. Step four, work out a plan, solve the equation. To solve the equation, you must move the unknowns to one side of the equal sign and the knowns to the other. Step five, check your solution. Does the answer make sense? Is it correct? It's a good idea to estimate an approximate answer by using rounded numbers. This will let you know if your answer is in the correct range. If it's not, either the equation isn't set up correctly or the equation is wrong. If this occurs, you must go back and start at step one and figure it out again. Many business problems and situations are expressed as ratios. A ratio is a fraction that describes a comparison of two numbers or quantities. In business, numbers often take much more meaning when compared to other numbers to form a ratio. For example, a factory has an output of 40 units per hour. Is that good or bad? If we also know the industry averages 20 units per hour, we can set up a ratio for our factory, 40 compared with the industry average 20. So our factory industry ratio is 40 over 20 or 40 colon 20. Expressed verbally, we say 40 to 20.